Today we are going to do the exercises of chapter The Bully from class 5 English NCRT. Explanation of the same chapter I have already uploaded. You can check in the playlist of my channel. If you haven't subscribed it, make sure to subscribe the channel so that whenever I upload a new video you are notified. So let's begin. The first one is why did all the children hate Hari? Here three options are given. You have to select the right one. So why did children hate Hari? Uh, because he would not talk to anyone or he always pinched them or he loved stealing their food. So the right one is he always pinched them. Then next one is nobody took Hari's hand. Nobody went near him. Nobody played with him. This shows that Hari had many friends, few friends or no friends. This shows that Hari had no friends. Then next, which of the following actions would make a friendly person write them down? Here few actions are given. You have to see that which action will help you in making friends. Respecting each other. Yes, this action will definitely help you in making friends. Eating small child's tiffin. No, if you eat others tiffin, uh, you, you will not have friends. Calling people with rude names no if you call other people with bad names they will not be your friend then pushing a smaller boy and making him cry no you should not hurt anyone then being helpful to everyone yes this action will definitely help you in making friends helping your classmates in school yes then mocking at friends and hurting their feelings no if you copy your friends if you imitate them if you try to be like them and if you hurt their feeling mocking means to copying them uh, trying to act like them so that is not a good habit then the next is protecting a weaker person if you are protecting the person who is dull that is also an act of helping so all these actions will help you in making friends which one respecting other people uh, then uh, being helpful to everyone, helping your classmate, then protecting a weaker person. These sentences you have to write it here. Okay, here few lines are given, so you have to write it here. Then next is vocabulary. Find out words which are opposites or are closest to being the opposites of the words given below. Here a puzzle type is given. This is down. Down means vertical form. Like this. Okay. Like this, if it is going, this is vertical and across means like this, horizontal line. So here, down means vertically, we have 1, 2 and 4. See, 1, 2 and 4, this is straight one. And 3 and 5, this is horizontal. So first we will see the opposite of smile. Here, few letters are given and few are missing. Opposite of smile is scowl, S-C-O-W-L, which means unhappy. Or upset then second is happy happy opposite of happy or uh, you can say or uh, miserable m i s e r a b l e miserable means in a very bad condition then strong opposite of strong will be weak w e a k then across like this we have to solve quiet opposite of quiet will be noisy n o i s y then fifth one is punish opposite will be reward you punish or you reward r e w a r d reward so like this you have to fill the missing letters then second one is hari was pinched till he was black and blue black and blue means hari fell down in pain there were bruises on his body hari painted himself in colors or he had a black and blue shirt so the right is there were bruises on his body. Bruises means red or black mark. Red or black mark that you get after getting wound. Okay. So those marks are known as bruises. I shan't pinch anyone anymore. Shan't means shall, should, shall not or will not. So the right one is shall not. Then give the full forms of. Here you have to write full form of won't. So, won't means won't. So, it is the full, uh, short, this is the short form and the full form of won't will be will not. Will not. Okay. Weren't. Weren't means were not. Then wouldn't means would 
not would not then couldn't could not these are the full forms and these are the short forms then the next one is a girl was sitting quietly beside him hurry leap to his feet i said you leap means jumped while explaining i have said you okay hurry jumped to his feet crying loudly the words quietly and loudly tells us how an action is being done find five more words ending in ly which denote how something is done see here quietly and loudly is ending with ly so you have to find some more words which are ending with ly so there are many words like happily h a p p i l y happily then you can write sadly s a d l y sadly then lonely l o n e l y lonely then neatly n e a t l y neatly then you can write um, uh happily sadly lonely neatly curiously c u r i o u s l y curiously or any easy word if you get you can write that also then next is add ly to the following words here few words are given in the box you have to add ly to this words and you have to make a new sentence means any sentence like we have make make our own sentences so like that we have to make so here clear will become clearly c l e a r l y clearly so any sentence you have to make of clearly you can write we will use uh, simple sentences okay easy sentences she writes she writes clearly she writes clearly or you can write uh, she speaks clearly then second is merry merry means happy m e r r i l y merrily you have to make a sentence of merrily so you can write uh, we celebrated we celebrated raj's birthday birthday merrily m e r r i l y then next is weary weary means um, very tired okay very tired so you can write w e a r i l y what sentence you can make you can write she sat on the couch on the couch verily w e a r i l y means she, she sat on the couch very tiredly then double double will become doubly d o u b l y means twice two times you can write um, raj uh, raj was doubly happy after getting gifts okay so after get, getting gifts he was doubly happy then drearily dreary will become drearily d r e a r i l y drearily it means uh, it means uh, not so attractive and very boring so what sentence you can make of drearily uh, you can write uh, she stared she stared drearily d r e a r i l y drearily at herself h e r s e l f at herself uh while looking at the mirror while looking at the mirror then next is bright bright means very dark so bright will become brightly b r i g h t l y brightly sun shines brightly b r i g h t l y then bad bad will become badly b a d l y badly you can write uh, uh, he got hurt badly he he was hurted by he was hurted badly he was hurted badly b a d l y badly then next is fond fond means uh, when you like something that is fond okay 
you are very much interested you can say i am very much fond of so you can write i am fond of ice creams that means you like ice cream very much okay any sentence easy sentence you can make by your own then here fun with sounds let's practice with p and f here few words are given which are starting with p and some are starting with f you just have to pronounce it pleased pricked pinched punished fat fruit fell forgotten palm pear proud parade farm fair frown fish so you learn the spelling of each word and practice it then next is complete the blanks with rhyming words of the following and practice aloud here you have to write the rhyming words rhyming of bruise will be cruise c r u i s e here starting letter is given so with the help of this you have to find out the rhyming word carriage will become marriage m a r r i a g e prawn drawn d r a w n creatures features f e a t u r e s teachers preachers p r e a c h e r s board uh, crowd or crowd crowd you can write c r o w d then next is let's practice some writing how did the seaside creatures the crab the lobster etc teach hari a lesson write in a few lines so when you have understood the chapter you can easily write the answer that how hari got a lesson when he went to the uh, seaside uh, seaside place so you can write uh, the seaside the seaside creatures c r e a t u r e s the seaside creatures like crab lobsters l o b s t e r s lobsters etc the seaside creatures like crab lobsters etc uh, pinched pinched hurry with their with their claw with their claw pinched hurry with their claw so badly so badly that he shouted shouted loudly and realized and realized how much pain he has given to other students okay the seaside creatures like crab lobsters etc pinched hari with their claw so badly that he shouted loudly and realized how much pain he has given to other students so he realizes his mistake uh hence he realizes his mistakes mistake okay this much is enough then next is read this sentence carefully i ate an apple a boy is standing under the tree the sun rises in the east a and an a and an do not point out any definite or particular person or thing the is used when we speak of some particular thing or person a and the are the article so these are the articles what are the articles a and the okay a and an are indefinite articles indefinite articles and the is definite articles definite means when you are pointing something means you are, you are uh, speaking about a particular about a specific thing that is definite and at that time we use the a and an are indefinite means for a common thing we use a and a 
a and an remember an is used before words beginning with a vowel see we have five vowel a e i o u so when any word starts with these sounds like a e a o u like this these sounds then we use an now fill in the blanks with appropriate articles hari was an unpopular boy why an because it is starting with u article uh, vowel vowel sound so we are writing an the boys and girls went to the seaside for a picnic the seaside this is definite seaside he saw a big crab coming towards him i found an empty bottle why and because here it is starting with e vowel the sea creatures ate his food then next a crab has a hard shell whereas a frog does not have one there are many animals that protect themselves from their enemies with their outer cover or shells in the box given below are the names of some animals circle the ones that can protect themselves with their hard cover see we have many animals and some animals have a harder cover means they have shell on their body which helps them to protect from their enemies so we have to circle the names of the animals that have cover on their body crocodile does not have any cover snail snail has cover lizard no snake also doesn't have turtle yes turtle has a outer cover tortoise also have gorilla frog don't have hedge dog also has a cover and porcupine also has outer shell now paste draw the paste or draw the picture of any one animal write five lines about it so any animal you have to pick and you have you you can either draw or you can paste the picture and you have to write few lines about that animal you can write about snake uh, you can you ha you can draw the picture of the snake then you write about snake that the largest snake is cobra the largest snake is cobra um snakes are of different types and colors and you can write uh, they are poisonous they are poisonous and and two three points you can also add so like that of any animal you can write then next is can you tell the difference between a turtle and a tortoise and write a few lines see here two pictures are given the first picture this is turtle and the second one is tortoise this is turtle and the second one is tortoise so you have to tell the difference between the two they are similar but they are not same so you can write the first difference that uh, turtle has a flat back whereas tortoise has a raised back see the back here the turtle's back is flat and this is little upward this is little raised so this is the one uh, first difference and the second is turtle live on land and water whereas tortoise live only in water so okay so this turtle it lives on land as well as on water but tortoise it lives only in water then third is turtle is omnivores o m n i v o r o u s omnivores whereas tortoise is herbivores h e r b i v o r o u s herbivores omnivores means it eats plant as well as flesh both it eats who turtle whereas tortoise it only eats plant it is a herbivore animal so it eats only plants and grass inside the water then fourth one you can write turtle has a uh, 
light shell light shell whereas tortoise has hard shell hard shell so the shell of turtle is little light as compared to the uh, shell of tortoise then fifth one mm, the life span the life span of turtle is 40 years whereas tortoise lives up to 150 years okay so this turtle it lives up to 40 years but this tortoise it lives up to 150 years so these are the differences between the two then next describe what is happening in the picture use is or are and ing to make your sentence clues are given in the box okay here few words are given like swing sit climb lick slide kick okay so what you have to do you have to uh use is in front of these words and also add ing like is swinging is sitting is climbing is licking is sliding is kicking so like this you have to uh write the word and fill this uh, sentence for example krishna is swinging here a picture is given what you can see one boy is swinging one boy is uh, licking lollipop Uh, and girl she is sliding down and another girl she is climbing up the stairs and this boy is looking angry and he is beating or kicking okay so you can write mary is dash up the slide mary is climbing up the slide climbing hari is kicking k i c k i n g hari is kicking and boxing her see this boy he is beating he is kicking and boxing this girl little bit to is licking l i c k i n g licking lollipop this boy is licking lollipop with his tongue then rita is sliding down s l i d i n g sliding down the slide she is coming down of the slide so she is sliding down the slide then next is imagine what the children will do in the playground tomorrow you can take some hints from the words given in the box for example john will play kabaddi see here few words are given like uh, play race football badminton jump and run so what you have to do you have to uh, with the help of your friends you have to discuss on this okay like but you but whatever sentence you are framing it should be in the future tense because because you will do in the playground tomorrow tomorrow you are going to do this so will should come in every sentence like will play will jump will run will race like that you have to make a paragraph let's be creative and talk work in groups of four see the picture of a ship wreck at the bottom of the ocean suppose you went deep sea diving what would you find think of all the words that come to your mind then build a paragraph share your story with other groups okay this is a group work group of four member you have to sit you have to look at this picture you have to discuss and you have to uh, write your own uh, story see what it is uh, saying suppose you went deep sea diving imagine this boy is you okay this boy is you and you are uh, inside the sea why you went there to see a shipwreck this is a shipwreck inside the sea you went to see this uh, and uh, what you are seeing inside the water that you have to keep in your mind and make a paragraph like you see here oyster pearl octopus then you see some uh, coins jewelry then fishes jellyfish whatever you see you have to make a paragraph on that okay so here our all the exercises are done in the next video i'll bring the another chapters explanation and if you found this video helpful 
then hit the like button share and subscribe this